so in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the thermal conductivity by edmund french law and uh, the success and the failure of free electron theory of metals so uh, in the previous lecture we have discussed about your electrical conductivity and ohm's law by using your free electron theory of metals so now <coughs> so since we know that the thermal conductivity is nothing but a measure of ability of a material to conduct heat ये मतलब कि कोई मटेरियल को हीट किस तरह कंडक्ट करता है कितनी तेजी से कंडक्ट करता है उसकी मेजर को हम क्या बोलते हैं उस प्रॉपर्टी को हम क्या बोलते हैं थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी सो नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल टू डिस्कस इट इज इन वेरी सिंप्लिसिटी आई विल कंसीडर ए कंडक्टिंग रोड और मेटालिक रोड हैविंग एंड ए एंड वी सपोज दिस इज मेटालिक और कंडक्टिंग रोड सो इफ there is no temperature difference at the ends of this metallic rod suppose a and b don't know same temperature pe so will there be a transfer of heat or energy no there will be no transfer of energy or heat because the temperature of both ends means the temperature of this whole metallic rod is same that means it is in thermodynamical equilibrium there mean there means there will be no transfer of energy so now to understand the thermal conductivity b let us consider there is a temperature difference your temperature gradient more specifically there is temperature gradient that means it is having temperature t1 and it, it is having temperature t2 so for now suppose since t1 is greater than t2 to so, ab yahan pe temperature gradient ho gaya ki yahan pe temperature zyada hai yahan pe kam hai to kya hoga यहाँ से जो हीट होगी या टेम्परेचर ज़्यादा होगा इधर से क्या होगा इधर से फ्लो होके इधर जाएगा तो मतलब वो एकदम से बैलिस्टिकली फ्लो नहीं होगा वो क्या होगा वो धीरे धीरे डिफ्यूज़ होगा टेम्परेचर देर विल बी डिफ्यूजन प्रोसेस धीरे धीरे टेम्परेचर एनर्जी इधर से प्रोसेस होते हुए जाएगी इधर तक जब तक प्रोसेस कब तक नहीं होगी कब तक प्रोसेस होगी या कब तक ट्रांसफर होगा एनर्जी का जब तक दोनों का टेम्परेचर सेम नहीं आ जाएगा जब तक दोनों एक में नहीं आ सकते सो नाउ दैट एबिलिटी ऑफ मटीरियल टू कंडक्ट हीट फ्राम दिस or I'll transfer it from this end higher end to lower end is known as thermal conductivity so now so now let us consider that the amount of heat or energy capital q passing through this cross section of rod per unit area per unit second that is the amount so this is the amount of heat q passing through this cross sectional ए और क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ रोड पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट सेकंड सो दिस इज गिवन बाय वन बाय थ्री एन वी लैमडा डी द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ एनर्जी पर पर यूनिट सेकंड और पर यूनिट टाइम सो वेयर लैमडा इज मेन फ्री पाथ वी इज द बेलोसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और पार्टिकल्स एंड एन वी द नंबर डेंसिटी ऑफ द फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड दिस इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ एनर्जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो नाउ फ्रॉम कानेटिक theory of gases that is energy will be 3 by 2 kb t kb is voltman constant t is absolute temperature this is the law of equation of energy and uh, we have to find this so we will differentiate this de upon dt with this equal to time this is constant 3 by 2 kb and this will be d temperature will be differentiated with respect to time put this value into this equation number 1 so therefore your heat will be 1 by 3 so this will be cancelled this will be 1 by 2 and v lambda kb this will be d t upon the rate of temperature with respect to time so this is the amount of heat transfer from one end of uh, rod to another so now since also we know that the heat transfer is also given by this formula from thermodynamics k t t to temperature means this heat transfer is directly proportional to the how temperature is varying with temperature temperature varying with time 
this equation number three putting this value into this so this will be that one k where k is thermal constant of thermal conductivity dt upon dt one by two n v lambda k b dt upon dt this will be cancelled so coefficient of thermal conductivity will be given by half n v lambda k b this is the expression for the thermal conductivity by using the free electron theory of gases so since uh, we, next we discuss the Weidman French law by using the free electron theory of gas so according to this law the ratio of uh, your thermal conductivity to the that is your uh, electrical conductivity is temperature is constant to temperature that means this ratio is directly proportional to the absolute temperature now from free electron theory of gas we have reduced the value of k and your sigma that is thermal conductivity and electrical conductivity so this is the expression by using the free electron theory of gases and this is uh, coefficient of thermal conductivity and this is the coefficient of electrical conductivity there was a but we have reduced this for unit area a is one so therefore by using simplifying this lambda will be cancelled b will be cancelled and will be cancelled and this will be three this will be three kb upon e k whole square into t where this constant three into kb in e k whole square is known as lorentz number and so therefore this is this ratio is directly proportional to your absolute temperature so thus we have reduced your Weinmann French law by using the free electron theory of gases so now there are some successes and uh, failures of free electron theory of gases the success because it uh, successfully defines your your electrical conductivity your thermal conductivity ohm's law weidman french law and your opacity and uh, their high luster and the main failure of this uh, theory is that it does not explain the heat heat capacity of materials and it fails to explain the paramagnetic susceptibility of conduction electrons means how they behave in your magnetic field and it is also unable to explain why the metals prefer certain structures why they uh, they melt me sodium that electrically uh, metals have your bcc structure and why your uh, that means uh, copper and that higher organ have your fcc structure and it does not explain the occurrence of long mean free paths so in order to explain these uh, drawback uh, b predict uh, b uh, assume that uh, that because they are these laws are defined by using the classical physics means classical uh, phenomena by that means energy transfer is continuous so now to uh, in order to understand these drawbacks or explain these drawbacks we will consider the approach of quantum mechanics next we will discuss your summary field quantum theory to explain these drawbacks that means why it cannot explain the heat capacity, it, its paramagnetic susceptibility.